Um, the cost of investing in mutual funds. Uh, there are um, few fees that mutual funds charge. Um, the <clears throat> Uh, you know, operating expenses uh, in, include all the expenses incurred uh, by the uh, mutual fund. A uh, front-end load is is simply a sales commission uh, or a charge the paid when you purchase those shares. Uh, those fees typically go directly to the broker selling selling those funds to you. Uh, we'll talk about this more as we move forward. Uh, the uh, there is no benefit to paying a load. The reason being is that that load comes off the top of your investment. For example, if you invest $10,000 in a mutual fund and that fund has a 5% front end load, you're effectively only investing $9,500 in that fund. And there is, there is uh, uh, much statistical evidence that funds that don't charge loads and pay, also charge lower fees typically uh, uh, outperform the load, loaded funds and high fee funds. Uh, we'll see that as we move forward. Uh, back end load is an exit exit fee on uh, mutual fund. Uh, for the most part, uh, back end loads are used to discourage uh, investors from um, actively trading mutual funds. The uh, uh, typical uh, a typical load would go over uh, um, go away over time. Say if you had a five percent back end load, it might go down one uh, percent uh, a year till it reach zero. Um, so what they're trying to do is to to get you to invest your your money for a, a longer period of time. Twelve B one fees. 12B1 fees or 12B1 uh, charges. Uh, there are annual fees by char charged by the mutual fund to pay for marketing and distribution costs. So uh, you know, most people agree that uh, that you should uh, and the investor should not be paying 12B1 fees. Those uh, those should be paid for by the uh, uh, by the firm, but uh, they are they are charged by. Uh, by quite a few firms, uh, you can find find firms that do not they not charge uh, these fees uh, or funds that don't charge these fees. So you have to be um, you have to educate yourself and make sure you know what you're doing when you uh, invest in these funds. Um, the uh, uh, there's a, example for one shows fees for uh, three different classes of a Dreyfus high yield fund in 2017. Um, there's uh, certainly a, a trade-off between uh, front-end loads and fees and so forth. Um, the uh, uh, the front-end load on the Class A is four and a half percent. If you go down to the footnote A, there it uh, shows you that the uh, load is lower if you have more money to invest. So if you were investing over fifty thousand dollars, the load would be lower. Um, class C and Class I have no front end load. The um, class, uh, if we go to back end load, there's no back end load on Class A. Class C has 1%. Go down to the footnote there. Um, as I mentioned before, depending on years until holdings are sold, so it, would prop, it is likely that that 1% would go away. Uh, class I has no back end load. Uh, 12B1 fees, uh, the uh, uh, Class A, uh, one, uh, quarter percent, uh, the uh, Class C, one percent. Um, at uh, the footnote down there, just says it includes a service fee of 25 basis points. I believe one percent is the maximum uh, uh, 12B1 fee allowed. The uh, you see down at the bottom the expense ratios on all of them are 0.7%. So uh, depending on which one of these choo you choose, it's going to, uh, uh, it's going to impact your, uh, 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 your return because these fees are going to come off the top of, of your return, come out of your return. So 
actually, if you don't, if the if the fund doesn't grow, um, the fee, uh, the annual fees are going to come out of out of the fund anyway. So it's just buyer beware. So um, talked about this a little bit: fees, loads, and performance. Gross performance of loaded funds is statistically identical to gross performance of no load funds. So before considering the fees, there's no difference in the uh, the performance of the funds. Um, uh, funds with high expenses tend to be poorer performers. Uh, um, make sure you, uh, when you're evaluating the fund, that you include 12B1 charges uh, in your expense in the expense ratios when you're comparing funds. Yeah. You can uh, compare your costs between funds with Morningstar. Morningstar is effectively the Bible for mutual funds. They keep, keep uh, uh, information on just about every mutual fund available in the market today. 